uh, haven't been doing a lot of videoing just because uh, we've been trying to get a lot of work done. Ben was home for the holidays and we spent a lot of time out here in the shop trying to reconfigure this radiator support to, to accept, well, the, the stack up that we need or that we want. A larger intercooler and it took some time to find a larger intercooler that would fit around uh, the new radiator. And uh, this came out of, or I ordered it for, you know, well, it's supposed to fit a 99 uh, power stroke. It's really, I think, the, the same intercooler that I have on my uh, 2001 power stroke, but <laughs> unfortunately the one in my truck has plastic end caps on it. I didn't like it, so uh, this one um, was wide enough between the inlet and the outlet to uh, to fit around this aluminum radiator, uh, which I sourced from uh, from Summit, and really happy with it. Except for I don't really care much for this uh, for this inlet here um, being on an angle, and I think that was my fault. I didn't recognize that. I mean, I spent hours and hours on the internet looking at dimensions, and somehow I missed the fact that this was not a straight out uh, inlet. So I may wind up cutting this off and rewelding it on there. But the intercooler, uh, much bigger than we had before. Here's the old one uh, that came with, uh, with my engine. I'm assuming it came out of the bread truck not really sure, but when we started to try to fit it on this radiator support, it was going to have to reach over the top of the radiator here, and we didn't like that configuration, so uh, hence this is the reason why we wound up with this uh, uh, F-250 or this Power Stroke air cooler. Uh, then, of course, uh, once we've got, got the intercooler nestled in there, we had to make a new support for the radiator and new rubber mounts in it. It uh, it all unbolts. The same with the uh, the support for the intercooler. Uh, everything's on rubber mounts the way it should be. And I uh, had to make some new pans down here just to protect it. Uh, going with two electric fans, move lots of air, and uh, we're building our own shroud. We looked and looked for a shroud. Um, aluminum shroud, plastic shroud, and uh, just didn't find the exact fit. And uh, <laughs> so I was agonizing over it. I said, "Hey, that's what we do. We make uh, we make parts. So uh, we'll go ahead and make an aluminum shroud." And that's what we're in the process of doing now. So uh, a little bit more work to do on it, nut plates, and um, a little more trimming and and smoothing up. And that'll be done, and then it'll all come back apart and get sandblasted and painted. Uh, still have to worry about or figure out the, the condenser on the front side of it, how we're going to mount it. I don't really like the original one. It's kind of uh, uh, cheesy the way that they bolt it to the front of the radiator support. So we'll, uh, we'll probably change that a little bit. A little custom work here with the uh, fan shroud cap plate. This also holds the radiator um, support on the front. And uh, we've made a neat little uh, logo here, a big giant stamp. I'll show you pictures of it. But uh, it was kind of a fun project and it uh, came out well. So that's it. That's what we've been working on. I'll give you a little bit more as we progress. And um, oh, yeah. Lots of beef up on these vertical posts um, just to support the radiator, uh, the way we had to cantilever it off. You know, normally the radiator would be set nestled into the radiator support here. But uh, since the radiator had to come back, I think it's only about a total of four inches and kind of be cantilevered off. We decided, well, that and the fact that a lot of these um, well, these vertical supports were, were only C-shaped. We, we, you know, capped them off to give them some strength. But a lot of the uh, spot welds were just not welded anymore. Just uh, the whole thing was kind of rickety and, uh, and wiggly. 
had no idea until we started kind of cutting into it and realized, hey, this thing, uh, you know, <laughs> this thing sees some, some action in its life. So all that's been fixed and, uh, and beefed up, uh, strengthened. There's actually a pretty good sized plate up underneath uh, this vertical that holds those studs in there. And the same up here to hold this stud, even though it doesn't really get much uh, um, pull on it. But anyways, the whole thing's been stiffened up. And uh, oh, I actually had to do a little, I can't see it very well. Maybe when I get it apart, I'll, I'll show you. I had to do a little cutting in here just to make a little extra room for the uh, intercooler. Uh, that's also what drove... Uh, changing these pans down here and remaking these pans was uh, well the old ones were just in bad shape and had different uh, mounts for for the radiator and cut these off from it and move those up and and all so lots of work done um, as well as reshaping the front opening a little bit but uh, all the hard stuff is behind us now it's just uh, a little bit of uh, touch up here or uh, nut plates and trim work and clean up and uh, we'll have all this done and it'll be a good thing to have checked off the list here uh, get it mounted back on the front of the frame and uh, feel good about it so uh, a little bit more to come and uh, we'll close this one out